Nigerians. Uh, my name is Steven Abu Ashley, the boat driver that had a misunderstanding with a right venerable mascot, Igwechi, uh, some days ago. I still actually want to apologize to him uh, to, 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 that, that, that I'm sorry for whatever I must have said or must have done to have uh, provoked him to that level of uh, anger. I, I am very, very sorry. This is actually a medium where I would like to tell all Nigerians that it is not time for us to start dividing ourselves based on religions or tribe or region or anything that we should actually come together and, and try to see how we can unite this, this nation and move the nation forward. Please, Nigerians, let's forgive and forget as they will contain in our Lord's prayer that Lord, please forgive us as we forgive those who trespass against us. For there is no justice without forgiveness. Thank you very much. And I still want to use this medium to thank uh, my family members, my parents, my brothers, my uncles. Nigeria, before this country go better, it could take time. This is the same person that was degraded. Tell me, let me go. I Look at this monkey. I don't care what. And I are you? Everything is coming back to apologize to his. Uncle. I don't know what happened. Maybe they have threatened him, or maybe they've paid him to come and do this. But this doesn't. This doesn't make any sense. If you don't know who that is, that is the boat driver that was by this guy, Honorable Alex Mascot Ikoji, a honorable member of the House of Representatives. You all saw the video online because the video went viral. In the video, he said a lot of mean things to this guy. He called him a lot of names. He said I was going to lock him inside his generator house as if he was one animal. And after everything, they took this guy to the police station. He was detained and they seized his car. And after all these things, this guy is back apologizing. If I now tell you what we did to make sure this guy get justice, and what this guy did to us in return, you will not believe. Nigerians, oh boy, I feel now. This right here is a problem. And first things first, before I tell you now, what we go through. Now, I want to say this. To the people, I heard this honorable mascot. If like they say, come from Anambra. To Anambra people, I've been an Abia people. You, the best thing that will happen to you people is to not let people like this guy to enter power. I'm telling you the honest truth. Because a man that is supposed to be held accountable for something, he do this code, this code, this code, to the point where we say his victim started apologizing to him. If you don't know what that means, that is a very big thing. It means say, eh, if you put this kind of person for power, he go do and undo and he go use money, shut things down. Take it from me. You don't want this guy to have power ever. Now, this bull driver, when that thing happened, I saw the video, I posted it online and I said I need to look for this guy. He must get justice. Finally, I think it was somebody that sent me. I think Deja Deyonju, my lawyer, was the one that sent his number. Deja Deyonju sent his number that somebody sent to him to send to me. I finally called the guy. Pa, 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 pa. I said, let me hear a side of his story. I took him somewhere. We made a video, which I posted online. This guy narrated his story and even added extra what we didn't see. Do you understand? He now said a lot of things and what we didn't see. I felt so much pity for him. Say no, a human being should not be treated like this. I took him straight to Deji Adeonju's office. Deji Adeonju now heard from me. Deji Adeonju was bitter. It was like, which kind of thing be this? He felt compassion. He wrote the petition immediately and said, we must take up this case and make sure this guy gets justice. Before I know it, pa, 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 pa. I suppose the video, Deji don't go police station. They don't start to they make their move. I was home. As I did house, after I post the video, his friend, this honorable mascot friend, now started calling. That please, oh, this thing is now going viral. That please, they want the best way to resolve the issue. I say, okay, you want to resolve the issue? Say, yes, that the guy is sorry. That the honorable mascot guy is sorry. I say, okay, no, Allah. This is what we'll do. If you want us to settle this matter, you have to compensate the guy. They say, no problem. Do you understand? They say, no problem. I say, they say, how far? What is the compensation? I say, you give the guy 20 million and a boat, a car, a Corolla for him to be doing boats because the car that was detained is for his Oga and his Oga we collect it. They said, uh uh, that 20 million is too much. I said, no, that's all it takes. Meanwhile, this was around evening. By strategy, has been with this boy and the honorable member in the police station because by strategy was trying to make sure this thing gets to court and let them pass judgment against the honorable member. And I'm called by strategy. I said, by strategy, in people don't they beg. Oh. 
I won't do it. I said, I told them that they should bring 20 million and the car. But I started to say, no, that is with the guy in the police station, the honorable member, that the honorable member is very rude, that he's not remorseful, that he was looking down on the boy and this one now and that. No, they should bring 50 million and a car. I said, but I started to say, I beg, let's just, you know, I've spoken to the victim and I've told him that I can try to secure something for him at least. Maybe now God uses one take butter and bread. Make him just get one car, hold small money, then start up a life for himself. But I said, it's okay that I should make sure I be there. Pa, 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 pa. They said it was too much. We started going down, going down. Finally, we arrived at 5 million era and the corona. I called by Sadiji, by Sadiji. Say no. Me and him argue, argue. Finally, we agreed. We go station. I met the guy and I told him that this is what we agreed. With. They will send the money to you and they'll buy the car. The guy now said, okay, no problem. The next day, pa, 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 we were calling them. Meanwhile, they were, in honor, they were in House of Assembly where they were drilling the guy. The House of Committee, they were in, interrogating the guy. After they finally transferred 2 million, 2 million, 1 million, the money shall complete for the Uber driver, the boat driver hand. They paid him. According to the paid, you said yes. It's remaining in the Kurula. Next thing, Temple come down, the guy apologized with him. So I now called and I said, ah, how far now? They never give this guy this car. What's going on? They said they've given him the car. I was shocked. I said, what's going on? This guy never called me to tell me, right? And I said, eh, the guy now said, eh, Rose, the car, they say the car was not good. They brought it, but we didn't like it. And I said, but you people didn't, you people didn't carry us along. Do you understand? Cut the long story short. That one passed. Later, they now called. They said they'll go and bring the car from Dubai to come and give the guy. Say no problem. Our own is that the guy must be compensated. By strategy, say it all. he must be compensated. That's what just what he wants. Then everybody can go. That justice is not a must. That somebody will go to jail. If the two parties agree, then it's fine. Ba 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 ba. That one pass. Yesterday, the president of the association now called and said, Ah, that do I know what is going on? I say what. Said that the guy, that boat driver and his brother have gone to that honorable member's house to go and be chilling that they are not. And I said, I ah, from where to where? Do you understand? And next thing now, this guy is coming outside to come and apologize. He didn't tell us, he didn't do nothing. Meanwhile, Barista Digi stayed with this guy in the police station for morning tonight. Barista Digi represented this guy in court. This guy no pay one nera. He no pay one nera. We now so they walk up and down, they go the bargain, they go different place, go sit down, we no go green, we no go green, with the ginger up and down, with our fuel, everything. And this guy, after everything, he go throw our back. <laughs> go talk, go meet the guy for back. They push you, push you, go, make you go do apology, making all of us look stupid. As if we don't know what we represent that be. You don't get unclear. Are you a Delta man? If Niger Delta man, no, now, but it's fine, it's fine. But I'm just disappointed. I'm really, really disappointed. That's just the thing. I'm just really disappointed because I was. I'm not expecting anything, obviously, because not even concerned. Even when they give him the five million, nobody asks him for nothing. Everybody leave me the go. You understand? We'll pass that level one hundred. You understand? <laughs> but again, he don't even carry us along. See, this is. Just go down for back. Mm. Yeah, go and apologize. Hey, let's do it like this. Go and apologize. May <laughs> God help us. And to the honorable member, uh, from tomorrow we'll continue the case. You know, there are some part of the case that we did not consider before. Eh? <laughs> we go investigate that. Now, mind you, mind you, it was because we kept quiet because they said they were going to settle on a fair ground. Not to say because we won't close eye to corruption, no. Because if complainants and uh, if complainants and suspects don't agree on normal thing, it makes sense. But this one where we say they can't degrade the guy more to make him look stupid. Because this is degrading and making him look more stupid. This is pushing a poor man like you are poor. You will take anything you like. And I hate a society like that. We could continue. We could continue and small. There are some things that we neglected and the police need to look into those things for real. Uh, if, if you pay that poor man, this other poor man, you know if you pay him. Hello guys, so when I saw this video,
trending on social media and the apology that this guy issued after he was being assaulted and insulted by a high-ranking politician in Nigeria. I was really confused because in one hand, I was like, maybe the guy is fearful for his life. Maybe the guy has been threatened. Maybe the guy was told to do under maybe directs. Maybe the guy's family is being threatened because we all understand the lawlessness in Nigeria. That was my thought. And then on the other hand, I thought I I I I I felt like maybe he's gone there and they've given him the money he requested, and the, he realizes that there was no point carrying someone in his heart, and there was no point creating enemies for himself, and he just rather made this video apologizing to Nigerians and to the politician and just let everything go away. You know, some people don't have the energy and the time to be angry at other people or to be pursuing issues with other people. Some people value their peace more than anything. And according to them, apologizing was the best way to go. Now, if that be the case, then I don't have any issue with that. If he just wanted to apologize and just clear the air and just let bygones be bygones, but he should have reached out to the people who helped him when he needed help the most. Because like I've always said on this platform, and I believe this 100%, never ever in your lifetime disregard someone who was there for you when you needed them the most. Never ever disregard someone who gave you a helping hand when you needed it the most. You have to forever be appreciateful with people who help you out when you, are, when you were in a very difficult situation. And the, this cannot be overemphasized that VDM really went out there, stood for this guy, and supported him the best way he could. VDM did that like he has always done to people who were vulnerable in our society, people he were able to help. He has always done that. And uh, in that regard, I think he's a very kind and gentle soul. I mean, VDM. So for this person, for this boat driver to have gone to this um, politician's house and made an apology without even letting VDM know what was going on was totally wrong. Was totally wrong. And I heard VDM said that he helped the guy and wasn't expecting anything in return because he thought the guy needed help. I really appreciate that from VDM. But I will say this, right? You must show appreciation. The guy got 5 million naira. That money might not be anything for VDM, but that guy would have given something to VDM. Not just to him personally, because VDM might not have use for it, but maybe support one project that VDM is undertaking through his NGO. That guy would have supported one of those projects. That guy would have donated to VDM NGO. That guy would have even gone on social media and said that I have received this amount of money. So I am grateful and I want to bless someone who is in need. That was what I, I, I think that guy should have done. People must learn to be grateful. I really, really resent ungrateful individuals. I really resent them. And things like this 
only goes to block opportunities for other people. Because when you behave as poorly as this guy has done, that doesn't encourage people to help others. A person might have a very severe issue and VDM might not want to get involved. He might not want to get involved because of the lesson he has gathered from this guy. He might not want to get involved. It's not good. It's not good at all. It is really, really poor. And VDM is someone that when he said he's going to do something, he will do it. So if you see him saying this on air, it means that he is really, really disappointed. He's disappointed with the guy. And uh, I personally think that the guy should reach out to VDM. It's never too late to offer an apology. It's never too late to reach out to VDM and say, bro, I'm sorry. When this happened, I was overwhelmed and I got carried away. Thank you for all the help and support you've given me so far. Thank you very, very much. But I have learned something from you that I did not know before. At least when you do this, it shows that you are grateful. You sh it shows that you appreciate people for the good things they do to you. That is what I think this guy should do. That is exactly what I think this guy here should do.